Hi guys, so in this video here we're going to be doing theorem 2, right, theorem 2, which is the equiangular, let me just write it properly, equiangular, this is A, Hi guys, so uh, in this video here we're going to be doing Theorem 2, right, um, which talks more about the equiangular triangles, right, equiangular triangles are similar, right, so um, this is what we have here, so say we're having big triangle like this one here and a small triangle like this one here right and we are given points so say this is a this is b this is c and this is p this is q and r right and we are told that a is equals to p so the angle that's what you're given b is equals to angle q angle c is equals to angle r so that's what you're given and i'm just going to write it here given that um angle a is equals to angle p right angle b equals to angle q and angle C is equals to angle R, right? So that's what you're given in this um, in this theorem here, and you're required to prove that AB over PQ is equals to AC over PR is equals to BC over Q. R, right so you're required to prove this please keep in mind this um, so now let's prove this should be fun so now the first thing you're going to do I'm just gonna write down a line here so that I show you where I'm gonna start so I'm gonna start here uh, the proof right so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to construct, right? We're going to construct a similar triangle like this one, but inside this big triangle here, right? So I'm just going to construct it. Uh, I'm just going to put in a line here. So the similar one is, is the one at the top, right? Uh, this triangle here, it's actually this one here. So that's what I just did. I constructed. And then I'm going to name it. Um, this would be S. Oops, let me remove this here so that you see clearly. So this point would be S, this one here, and then this one would be T, this one here, right? So this is what we have, right? And then I'm going to focus on this specific triangle and this triangle, right? So I'm going to focus on this small triangle here and this small triangle here. So I'm just going to compare them. Right, I'm gonna compare them using congruency. Right, uh, let me just draw them here at the bottom so that you guys can see what I mean. So now we'll be having this triangle here and this other one here. So I'm just gonna compare them. Obviously, when when you deal with congruency, um, the sizes of those um, specific uh, shapes are the same, right? So this is going to be A. This is S. This is T. And this is P, this is Q, this is R, right? And then we know very well that this angle here is equal to this one here, so we were told, right? So that's the only information that we have here. So by comparing these two triangles using congruency, the first thing we can identify is that the angle A is equal to angle P, right? Reason is given. That's the first thing we're going to do to compare. The second thing to compare these two triangles is, say, AS is equals to PQ, right? AS is equals to PQ. Reason, you can say by construction, right? 
and you do the opposite side also and say um, AT is equals to PR right the reason can say by construction right so if you can see we have now proven three things we have proven an angle this is number one we have proven a side this is number two we have proven another side this is number three so in congruence as long as you prove three things then therefore those two um, shapes are congruent to each other so therefore you can conclude and say triangle a s t is congruent to triangle p q r right reason for that is we've proven a side we've proven an angle we've also proven a side right or you can say angle angle side side or side side angle whichever way you write it is fine right but you're not done remember we are asked to prove this right this is the required to prove so you have to continue now so we've compared these two small triangles that they are congruent uh, with each other so now once they are congruent um, what you need to remember is this is that since you have confirmed this congruency here right therefore therefore um, angle s let me say s1 let me name it s1 so here it's s1 and there here is s2 angle s1 is going to be equals to angle q right so this angle here s1 is going to be equal to this q here right um yes and obviously with the other angle uh, t1 is also oops so t1 will also be equals to angle r right so if angle s1 is equal to angle q right this statement here then remember that b is equal to angle q2 but angle b is equal to angle q right so if s1 is equal to angle q and b is equal to q therefore it confirms that angle s1 is equal to angle b right so therefore this s1 here is equal to this angle b what is that when this angle here is equal to this angle here anyone who can just guess take a guess it is what corresponding angles right so once these two angles are equal therefore it confirms now or it, it concludes and say that um, st is parallel to bc so then the reason is corresponding angles equal right so now you've you've you, you've concluded your corresponding angles so once once now this become parallel to this remember your theorem one if you have parallel lines like this in this specific triangle therefore your sides are proportional or your ratios the ratio of one end is proportional or is equal to the ratio of the other end right if you remember theorem one um, so therefore we can say therefore a b which is let me use a different color which is this one here AB right AB over AS over AS which is this small one here this small one here so AB over AS is equals to what is equals to the other end right is equals to the other end of AC AC over AT right so that is the theorem of proportionality um, AC over AT, right? Um, the reason for that, remember the theorem or the first theorem that we did in um, in previous videos. It says line parallel to one side of a triangle, right? So that is the reason of pro the theorem of proportionality, which is theorem one. If you haven't seen that video, check the description of this video and have a look so now that we have confirmed that okay fine uh the sides of this big uh triangle are or the, the the ratios rather are equal which were caused by these two parallel lines here right therefore we can conclude and say 
therefore, AB all over PQ. Now we are now we are con we are, conf we, are we are comparing the the, a the AB over this PQ of this other triangle, right? So AB over PQ is going to be equal to AC, which is this other side over PR, right? Over PR, right? And uh, the reason for that, you can simply say AS is equals to PQ, where's AS? This AS here, right? Oops, sorry, it's a little bit messy. But the AS from the bigger triangle is equals to PQ. They are equal. Remember, uh, we're comparing these shapes before um, when we're doing congruency, and we stated that they are equal here. That's the statement, right? Um, and then, once you've done this, um, obviously this statement also applies. So you can still write it here and say AT equals to PR, right? Then you can uh, write down the similarly, similarly type of solutions. So this would be your first solution. Remember that we are looking for this, uh, these ratios, right? AB over PQ equals to AC over PR, right? Which is what we just got here. And then definitely the other one falls, uh, which the BC over QR, right? You can just write it down um, and say, uh, I'm just gonna write it down here with the red mark and say, but AB over PQ, so the AB of the bigger triangle over PQ is equals to BC over QR, is equals to this BC over QR, right? So once that applies, therefore you can conclude now and say, and write down this here of saying um, AB over PQ is equals to AC over PR is equals to BC over QR, right? So now we are done. We are done proving this theorem 2, which talks about equiangular triangles that are similar, right? So once you do this, then you are done. You're done solving this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you got stuck anywhere, let me know. I will help you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.